Funko, that's a lot of pops. What's up everybody, so currently I'm in my room right now, and I'm about to do a Funko Pop haul. I've been waiting for a while to do this, but I'm finally going to do it. So, um, these are all the pops I have now, if you're watching this in the future, um, I might have some new pops in, but this is what I have now, so, yeah. So just remember, these. this is not in the order that I got them, it's just the order that they're on the shelf, so... Let's get to the first one. So the first one I have is Thanos from Avengers Infinity War. And this one's worth $8. So the next one is Star-Lord from the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie. And he's worth $10. This one is Rocket Raccoon from the second Guardians of the Galaxy movie. And it's worth 5 bucks. This is Baby Groot from the second Guardians of the Galaxy movie. He's holding the Cyber Eye. It was an FYE exclusive, and it's worth 15 bucks. So this is the Collector from the second Guardians of the Galaxy movie, and he is worth 13 bucks. So next I've got Venomized Iron Man from the Venom movie, and he is worth... Nine dollars. So next I've got OG Iron Man. For this one, my cousin Brayden gave this to me. And this one's worth twenty-seven dollars. So this is the Iron Man from the Captain America Civil War movie. This is actually the first Funko Pop I ever got and it's worth eight dollars. Next, I've got Thor from Avengers Endgame, and he's worth $5. This is Hulk from Avengers Endgame, and he's worth $7. This is um, Orange Chrome Hulk, and he is worth 8 bucks. Next, I've got Captain Marvel from Avengers Endgame, and she is worth eleven dollars so next i've got happy hogan from spider-man far from home and he is worth five dollars so this has got to be my favorite funko pop that i have um it's iron spider from the avengers endgame movie it recently came out and this is the last one that i got and it's probably my favorite and it's worth nine dollars so, next I've got Ugly Christmas Sweater Spider-Man, and he's worth $7. So, this is, um, Spider-Man Stealth Suit, aka Night Monkey from Spider-Man Far From Home, and he's worth $9. So, this is the normal Iron Spider from the Avengers Infinity War movie, and he's worth $10. So this one's really high on my list. It's Upgraded Suit Spider-Man from Spider-Man Far From Home, and he's worth $7. Okay, so my Marvel section is done. And next, my Aladdin and Favorites section. So this is my Aladdin's First Wish movie moment. Um, this is my only pop from EB Games in Canada, and I really love this one. And it's worth only $7. So next I've got the Aladdin Funko Pop from the new Aladdin movie, and it's worth $6. And that Aladdin one also came with a boo. A boo comes in it. So next in my Aladdin ones is Princess Jasmine, and she's worth... So next I've got the Aladdin from the original 1992 movie, and he's worth $8. So next I've got the Jafar from the new Aladdin movie... And it's wor and he's worth um seven dollars. Next is the genie from the new movie, and he's worth seven dollars. So this one's another one of my favorites. It's the genie from the original Aladdin movie, and he's worth seven dollars. So the next one on my shelf is one that I really like. It's in my favorites section. 
Um, and it's Ian Lightfoot from the new Disney movie Onward, and he's worth 19 bucks. Okay, so the next one is Alan Parrish from the original Jumanji movie, um, and he's worth 8 bucks. So the next one is P.T. Barnum from the movie The Greatest Showman, and he's worth 9 bucks. The next one is The Kool-Aid Man from the Kool-Aid Drinks. He's the mascot, and he's worth $11. Sorry, he's actually worth 12 So another one that I have is the Coca-Cola Bear. I really like this one, and it's worth $12. So that's it for my Aladdin and favorites. Um, and these guys always fall down, but that's it for that section. The next one is Hank from Finding Dory, and he's worth $7. The next one is Glitter Winnie the Pooh from Winnie the Pooh, and I got this one at Hot Topic. It was a Hot Topic exclusive, and he's worth $23. The next is Jack-Jack from The Incredibles 2, and he's worth $4. The next is Dash from The Incredibles 2, and he's worth $7 as well. The next is Luau Pumba from the original Lion King movie, and he's worth $9. The next is Timon from the new Lion King movie, and he's worth $5. The next one is Simba from the live-action Lion King movie, and he's worth $6. <laughs> So another one I have is Frozone from The Incredibles 2, and he's worth $7. Okay, so the next one I have is Olaf from the first Frozen movie. The price on this one is disappointing because a while ago he was like $0.99, cents, but now he's bumped up to $6. I don't know why, but like, yeah. So next I've got... Young Elsa from Frozen 2, and she's worth $6. Next, I've got Young Anna from Frozen 2, and she's worth $8. Next, I've got Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story 4, and he's worth $7. Next, I've got Bunny from Toy Story 4, and he's worth $7. We've got Bunny, so you have to have Ducky, and Ducky is as... Also, um, $7. Next, I've got Forky from Toy Story 4, and he's worth $11. I'm trash. Next, I've got Slinky from the Toy Story movies, and he's worth $7. He's actually 6 not 7 That's it for the Disney section. That's not all the Disney ones, though. That's it for the Disney section. That's not all the Disney ones, though. Next, I've got Charlie Brown from the Peanuts series, and he's worth $14. Tra-la-la! Next, Captain Underpants, from the Captain Underpants movie, and he is worth $23. Then we have Max with Cone from The Secret Life of Pets 2, and he's worth $7. Next is Mad Hatter from Disney's Alice in Wonderland, the live action, and he's worth Thirteen dollars. Okay. Next I've got Buddy the Elf from the Christmas movie Elf, and he's worth eleven dollars. Maple syrup. Next I've got Gomez from the Adams Family, the original Adams Family movie. Well, I don't know if it's the original because there's been a couple. But yeah, it's Gomez and he's worth six dollars. Next is the Grinch from the live action, not the live action, it's not live action, the new animated Grinch movie, um, and this one's a GameStop exclusive because he has his underwear and a mug, and he's worth $23. Next I've got Wreck-It Ralph from Ralph Breaks the Internet, um, this one's a Hot Topic exclusive, because normally he doesn't hold a pie, but the Hot Topic ones hold pie, and he's worth $5. Next is 
Santa Claus from the Tim Allen Christmas movie Santa Claus, and he's worth... Okay, so I couldn't actually find the price for this one. But I bought it for 11 Next is Mr. Monopoly, or Uncle Pennybags, from the Monopoly board game. And he's worth $17. Next is Willy Wonka, um, from the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory movie. And he's worth $20. Five dollars. Next is um, Monsters Inc. version of Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Um, usually it's like grayish color, but this one's orange because it was a Target exclusive and it's worth nine dollars. Next is Imagination SpongeBob from the SpongeBob SquarePants series. Um, and it's worth $8. Next is Chester Cheetah. He's a mascot for the, um, Cheetos brand, and he's worth $9. Next is Tom with Cleaver from the Tom and Jerry TV show, and he's worth $10. Next is Sorcerer Apprentice Mickey um, from Fantasia, and he's worth $8. Next is the Red Sour Patch Kid from the Sour Patch Kid Candy, and he's worth $8. Next is Jack the Lamplighter from Mary Poppins Returns, and he's worth $8. Sorry, he's actually worth $7. Next is Shazam from the 2019 movie Shazam, and he's worth $7. Next is Constance Hatchaway, or The Bride, from the Disney World and Disneyland attraction The Haunted Mansion, and she's worth $25. And that's it for that shelf. Next is Mary Poppins from uh, Mary Poppins Returns, and she is $8. This is Owen Grady from Jurassic World, and he is worth 8 Sorry, $8. Next is Kevin McAllister from the Christmas movie Home Alone, and he is worth... Six dollars. Next is Dr. Smolder Bravestone from Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle, and he is worth ten dollars. So next is Shrek from the movie Shrek, and he's worth thirty two dollars. Next is Bugs Bunny from the um TV series Looney Tunes and the movies. And he is worth $13. Next is Han Solo from the Star Wars movie. Solo, a Star Wars movie. And he is worth $6. So next is um, Sad Porg from the Star Wars movie, The Last Jedi. And he is worth $8. Okay, next is Poe Dameron from the Star Wars movie, For The Force Awakens. Funny thing about this one is, like, a, a couple weeks after I bought this one, I checked how much it was, and it said $72. I, and then, a couple days ago, when I was adding all these to my collection and checking their price, this one is now $6. Come on, man. Next is Steamboat Willie from the Mickey's 90th Birthday Series, and he is worth $8. Actually, he's worth $8. And that's all for that shelf. I've just got like four or five more to go. So this is Pennywise from the It movie, and he's worth 10 bucks, I think. Okay, so the next one is a DIY Funko Pop. 
Um, you can buy them on Amazon and stuff. So I made it look like me. There I am, guys. And that DIY Funko Pop was worth... $21. Next is Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, and he's worth $21. Next is the Kiss the Girl movie moment from The Little Mermaid, and it is worth $46. And lastly is the Nightmare Before Christmas Under the Moonlight movie moment, and it is worth $24. Now, keep in mind that um, all the prices might not be what I paid for them. Like, 99% of them is the price I did not pay for them, but the price they're going at now. Um, if you want to see the price of the Funko Pops you have, if you want to make, like, something that I did, go to the App Store and download the app. Um, download the Funko app. It's free, and you can look up all the new Funko Pops. They have all the new ones up there. And, um, if you click on one that you have, you can go down and it'll say add to collection and it can show you your collection, how many Funko Pops you have, and the price of your collection. Yeah, it hashtag not a sponsor though. Not a sponsor. Funko, please sponsor me.